It's a great pleasure to speak at this uh, event organized by Positive Money because I think Positive Money is an organization which has rightly focused our attention on some of the really fundamental issues in economics about the nature of money and where purchasing power comes from. Positive money really exists because we think a debate about the monetary system, about how it works, the problems it causes and possibilities for reform is well overdue. And we believe that there is a huge potential in innovations in the monetary system to help support balancing of the, the economy, um, to help drive sustainable prosperity and to foster stability in the financial sector. I am Kemia Mojala. I am an entrepreneur, I've just started my own business and I came here just to educate myself a bit more about the financial system in the UK. I'm Monika Tenarska, I run several companies but I have been supporting Positive Money for uh, a couple of years I think now. I think it's more in terms of small businesses, I don't feel that the banks are supporting small businesses from a financial point of view in a way that I would like to see it, so the money's not really filtering down to help us to create a business, create more work, more jobs for people etc. So I think that's something that could be done a lot better. I do believe that it is impossible to understand why the 2008 crisis occurred and even more why the recovery from that crisis has been so extraordinarily difficult and slow without addressing those fundamental issues about the nature of debt, the nature of credit, the nature of money and where purchasing power comes from uh, which positive money uh, have encouraged us to think about. Could you put up your hand if you think there is some risk of a, some kind of financial crisis potentially happening again in the coming years? <laughs> Almost unanimous. And could you put up your hand if you think we should start considering new innovations in monetary policy? <laughs> And that in turn created an environment, the environment in which we've been living for the last seven years, in which that pile of debt doesn't really go away, it just shifts around the economy. I think we need to be aware that it isn't just interest rates. And where it is exactly right is that we need to be aware much more about what's going on in the economy than just looking at inflation. And if it's roughly two seg, everything's fine. We do need to be more aware because we know it blew up in our face in the crisis. We don't have the structures of markets, of finance system that support true enterprise. Too often it supports uh, and enables people to collect economic rent to just uh, appropriate the wealth of others. And the finance system has become very much like that and the money system lies at the heart of the financial system. And so if we really want to have a pro-enterprise economy where people can achieve you know, great creative uh, new enterprises, we need to look at the money system and how it can best enable that endeavour. We need not just a change in our monetary system, we need to change in our mentality about our monetary system. So I think in that sense a commission is a good idea. We're calling for a money commission to be set up by the UK's Treasury to establish whether the money and credit system is effectively serving the public interest. The UK hasn't actually examined how the money and credit system works, or maybe some of the problems with it, since the 1930s.